back at the Ramblewood Soccer Complex in Charlotte, North Carolina. Brock Bowling alongside Patrick Daka. And Patrick, the Rochester Rhinos win this game tonight over the Charlotte Independents, one to nothing. Your thoughts on this game tonight? Yeah, well, Charlotte struggled to put any kind of uh, offense in the first half as we saw Enzo Martinez play that shot in. And then uh, the, the free kick, the corner kick from Jorge Herrera, that was as much as Charlotte could conjure up in the first half. And then that came in the second half, uh, sorry, the, the PK, which was a game-changing situation. Lewis Hamilton going in for a tackle and uh, Dos Santos stepping up and raffling the ball up into the upper corner. And there's the lone goal of the game as Fortes Dos Santos on the penalty kick inside the box, able to get it past. John Burner, the only mistake Burner made tonight, but that's a tough play to make. Uh, that's a really tough play. To make. That was a difficult one. But then Charlotte, for all the position they got, all the chances they, they saw today were from set pieces. And how about Tomas Gomez pitching a shutout tonight? He really earned his money this evening. He came out big in all those set pieces as we we're talking about, coming out for crosses, making sure he had his defenders organized. Came out big. And Charlotte had some chances, just couldn't finish the deal, just couldn't get the ball past the goalkeeper, Tomas Gomez. And this was a defensive slugfest here all night. Organized, resolute, very strong. As we see here, they were not afraid to put in tackles and throw their bodies on the line. And Charlotte had to be content with taking con uh, free kicks and set pieces. But Rochester Rhinos were very strong defensively. And then there was this one last opportunity of the game, or, or not really that's a free kick. And they had possession, Charlotte had the bulk of possession, but all their possession, as we saw there, was just going straight to the goalkeeper or to the defenders. Another free kick by Jorge Herrera comes in, but it's just a little bit behind Davidson. Uh, sorry, Greenspan. Nothing coming out of it. The game ends 1-0 for Rochester. So with the win, the Rochester Rhinos go to 12-5-12 in the year. It's the end of their regular season for the Charlotte Independents. They drop to 14-8-7. For Patrick Daka and our rest of our crew, I'm Brock Bowling. So long.